What's going on guys? So today we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive into my analytics to see what I can do as a creator to make better content for you guys because, you know, my channel, it is growing a little bit, but it seemed to be a little bit stagnant this couple of months, so I haven't seen the growth that I wanted. So clearly something is going on where either I'm not creating good content or I'm not creating the content that you guys want to see. So we're going to take a deep dive into my analytics and see exactly what I should do to, you know, hopefully increase my view count, increase my subscribers, increase all my good analytics so my channel can grow and get bigger. So let's take a look right now. All right, so I have opened here my analytics, and you can see here, uh, if you look at the top, it says my channel's looking good. Your channel got the same amount of views as usual, which I've been actually creating a lot more content, so it's been hard for me to keep up the same amount of views that, that I've had in the past couple of months, because uh, if I haven't been creating so much content, maybe I wouldn't have that many views. And also, maybe because I am creating so much content, you guys are getting tired of watching so much content, and so you're not watching as much as you, uh, you, as you used to be for. But if you look over here, I have about 42,000 views for the last 28 days which is good. My watch time is about 2,000 hours. And uh, my subscriber count is 102. So that's actually increased the last couple of days due to the uh, race videos I've been doing. I did the mile time trial and I also did the jalapeno 100 video. So those actually increased my sub count a little bit. Uh, so let's take a look at my top videos. So my top videos over here clearly are gonna be uh, the review videos. So you can see the last 28 days, this Jabra Elite Active 65T video got about 6,000 views, which is awesome. That's a lot. And all these little review videos are doing great. The Garmin one, the Polar one, the Mighty Vibe, which I gave a horrible review to. Uh, that's also getting a good amount of views. And then some of my Google Runner Talk videos are doing well too. Uh, I think that I think that review videos and talks where I do a searchable topic about running those get popular because right here is why I stopped wearing Vibram Five Fingers. Got, uh, you know, two, almost 2,000 views in the last 28 days. And also how to start running when overweight. Those are, those are top videos. One of the new things that I included into my videos are shorts. So I'm still on, I'm still kind of iffy on shorts right now because they are only one minute and they really decrease my watch time. And supposedly YouTube likes watch time. So if I'm having a lot of shorts on my channel, uh, my watch time has dropped. Before it was about three minutes of watch time per video. Now since I've added a bunch of shorts, my watch time is about one to two minutes. So it's really dropped a lot. It's actually one minute to a minute 50. So uh, not that great. So clearly these are the videos that I get a lot of views on, but are these the videos that get subscribers? I don't know about it. Let's look at the Jabra Elite Active video and we can see how many subscribers I got from that video. So yeah, okay, so I am getting a good amount of subscribers from here. You can see I got 44 subscribers from this video. So I'll definitely have to keep on making review videos because those are getting me subscribers. Let's look at the Garmin View Active one and see if that got me subscribers. Yep, 71 subscribers. So this is actually kind of surprising to me that people will subscribe for those review videos. It's hard to get stuff to review. You know, if I want to invest in my channel, uh, you can see that the Garmin video actually made me $209 over its lifetime. So that pretty much paid for the watch a little bit. Uh, so if I wanted to invest in my channel, maybe I'll have to start buying loads of Garmin watches so I can get more viewers and more subscribers. Uh, let's take a look at the why I stopped wearing Vibram Five Fingers. How many subscribers I got from that one? 32 subscribers, so not as many as the review video. Still still pretty good, right? Uh, let's take a look at this one. This is a, a Goku Runner Talks. I think this one got me a lot of subscri subscribers over its lifetime. Plus 10 in the last 28 days, but if we go to its lifetime, let's go, yeah, its lifetime, it's got me over 402 subscribers, so that's a ton of subscribers, so clearly I need to be doing more Go Corona Talks. Probably overweight running. I am overweight guy, so uh, that's how people identify themselves with me as, and uh, that's why they want to subscribe to me. So I'll have to talk more about weight loss, more about uh, being overweight and running, 
probably beginner tips because most of those subscribers are beginner runners and they want to learn from somebody like me. You know, not everybody looks like Seth James Damore or Kafuzi or a lot of these other runners. I'm probably one of the bigger runners here on YouTube at 245 pounds. I look like a linebacker. I weigh as much as a linebacker. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to embrace that and really uh, try to make videos towards my audience because that's clearly a lot of people. Uh, 400, yeah, almost 500 subscribers from that. So, I told you I made shorts, so this shorts video is the, my most popular one at 1,400 views, and it's only got one subscriber. So really, if I'm gonna make these shorts and only get one subscriber, is it really worth it to annoy you guys with these short videos? It doesn't take a lot of time to make, maybe 30 minutes to make a short video because they are like 30 seconds, probably less than that, but for one subscriber, it's not really worth it. Supposedly YouTube is promoting them, but I haven't really seen an increase and that's just showing me that it's not really helping my channel too much. So shorts may not be in the future of my channel. So I'm gonna go back to the analytics, but I wanna talk about this right here. This is something I asked on the community page. I asked what type of videos do you wanna see more on my channel? And the interesting thing is, of, of, I think of course, race videos are gonna be the most popular. Those are clearly my, my more popular videos. That's where I get a lot of uh, views from and a lot of comments for sure. Uh, but I can't race every weekend, especially now that it's COVID times. I haven't been able to race a lot. And I think that's also what has caused my channel to be kind of stagnant because race videos gives you a lot of content. It gives you something to train for. It gives you something to talk about. You know, you have the race day prep, you have the race day, and then you have uh, after race day talks. Like if I want to talk about how my race went, that's another video. So not having races in 2020, it has really affected my channel, but I've been trying to put other content on there, like my training videos. So like you see here, 36% of y'all really like my training videos. And uh, before I was never posting training videos on my channel because I just thought that it wasn't interesting. So. I will definitely have to keep up with those. And then I have the other two topics, that my Google Runner Talks and my review videos. Those got the lower lower percent of y'all that really like those videos. And I had a lot of people vote on this. So I had about 44 people vote, which is a lot of people. That's more people than what I normally have in the comment section. So uh, 44 people voted and they want to see training videos and race videos. Uh, so I'm going to try to do more training videos and probably more race videos. but. Uh, if we go back to the analytics over here, we'll see what my reach is. So you see my reach right now, it was actually pretty high. Uh, 542,000 impressions, that means 542,000 uh, eyes are getting seen on my thumbnail every 28 days. It was actually up to 600,000 and my impression click-through rate is dropping low. It's, it's dropped about 11% over here to 5.2%. But what I find is that if my impressions are high, my impression click-through rate is usually low because it's showing to so many people that the percentage of people that are actually clicking at it is lower because it's just a bigger sample size. So you're having 500,000 instead of 300,000. If my impressions are lower, my impression click-through rate seems to be higher. So it usually gets up to 7% or 8%. The good thing over here, you can see my views are up even though my impression click-through rate is lower. And I actually think that it's better to have a lower click-through rate and a higher impressions because more eyes are being seen on your channel. So I'd rather have higher impressions than a higher impression click-through rate for my channel because I see an increase in views. For the longest time, for the last couple of months, uh, my impression rate has been up to 8%, but my views have been dropping. So it's, it's good for my channel at least to have higher impressions where it's about 500,000 to 600,000. So you see over here where my traffic source is coming from. Uh, it's coming from, you know, YouTube search. So those are people searching for review videos, searching for the hot topics that I talk about on my Google Runner Talks videos. They're finding it over here. Uh, the shorts actually got 3.9% which is pretty good. I'm still kind of iffy on if I'm gonna keep on making shorts. Maybe I won't do every day, but I'll try to do a couple every week to see how that goes. And then if you go over here, you'll see my impressions on this little chart on, to the right is 542,000, 12.7% from YouTube recommending my content. That's pretty, that's pretty good, that's high. 5.2% uh, click-through rate, and then watch time hours is 1.4 thousand hours. Uh, every 28 days. You can see also over here what people are searching for and how they're finding my videos mainly from the 
review video. So they're really searching for the Garmin's, the Jobbers, the Polar's, the Vivo Active 3's. That's basically where people are searching for. Let's look at some other stats, some other uh, keywords that they're looking for. So if you go a little bit further down, you'll see they're looking at Vivo Five Fingers. I probably need to make some more Vivo Five Finger videos. My 50 burpees a day was pretty popular. Uh, what else? Cross rope reviews. So this is where you need to look to to find what people are searching for on your channel and maybe increase the videos for those keywords. So that's it. Let's go back. Let's go to my engagement. This is a new thing. I didn't notice this before, but it says key moments for audience retention. Uh, so you can see that my uh, Jalapeno 100 video is pretty good. It got about 84% watching after 30 seconds. So uh, that's good. Basically, all of my race videos or training videos are at the top for that. People really want to watch that. So that's telling me I need to make race videos and training videos. Uh, there's one go around talks here where I talk about hip pain. So, oh, there's, there's also another one, the one thing running seems to forget. So another go around talks. So that's good. People are watching my videos past 30 seconds. What else we have over here? My top videos, again. I've been making playlists. Playlists are kind of a hassle to make because you have to take a little time to do that, but they do help with watch time. People like to look at playlists, so need to really uh, get that going. And then the audience. Uh, this is an interesting one over here with my audience. Uh, it tells me when my viewers are on YouTube. So basically more people are on about noontime. That's what, that's what I'm finding out. A lot of people are from all over the world. So it's not really 12 or noontime my time, but that could be any time, you know, from 10 p.m. to whenever, 8 a.m. In, in the world. But it also tells me when I should upload my videos. So YouTube is recommending that I upload my videos every day pretty much in the morning. 7 a.m., 8 a.m. is the top time I should uh, post my videos because that's when people are generally wanting to watch videos. And then I have a live stream time, which I just started live streams. I've been trying to figure out a day when to do them. And uh, has shown I should do them at 10 a.m. in the morning. So I think what I'm gonna do moving forward after this next video is I'm gonna try to do a Saturday or Sunday 10 a.m. live stream, see how that works. Uh, that might be better for my UK audience, for my Filipino audience, or whoever that is not in the States because Wednesday was pretty good at 7.30, but when I did it at 5.30, there was only a few people in the comment section. So for a live stream, that's not what you want. My top geographies where people are watching it is the United States and India. I love that. Let's see what the Philippines is. I like to see where the Philippines ranks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. That's where you guys are at Philippines. Come on, Filipinos, watch my stuff. And then revenue is good. You can see over here from the month of June to November, it's been increasing slightly every month. So that's generally what's going to happen. You're gonna you're gonna reach your threshold whenever you do get monetized, and that's a hundred dollars. I've been monetized for about a year. So it's growing about 10 to 20 bucks every month. So at the beginning, I was making about, you know, $60 a month and then 70 and then 80. So it's been increasing slightly every month. So that's good. It's helped me buy some other stuff for my channel. I bought the GoPro Hero 8. I bought a new lens. I also invested in uh, Epidemic Sounds. Epidemic Sounds is a place that I can get music that I get the copyright for. So but I pay them for the copyright and I, I have a bunch of music to pick from to uh, choose music. And I just got that recently. Uh, I know YouTube has some music, but you know YouTube, some of the soundtracks aren't the greatest and you have to really search from one to the other. And it really takes a lot of time sometimes to search through all those different soundtracks. So I decided to go ahead and get Epidemic Sounds. So I don't have to depend on YouTube music or even no copyright sounds or um, what is the other one? I use a uh, vlog free music. Sometimes those will get copyrighted, so you have to be careful in using those. So that's why I decided to get Epidemic Sound. It's about uh, $15 a month, and since I am making a little bit of money on YouTube, might as well reinvest into the channel so it can be bigger and grow. But yeah, that's all my analytics. What I can tell is that my channel is growing, but it's not growing at the rate that I want it to grow. It's growing very, very slowly for me. It was growing a lot more earlier in the year, but now it seems to slow down a lot. So I'm gonna try different things. I'm not gonna upload as much. I've been uploading a whole lot 
uh, try to upload you know every day but that doesn't seem to be working for my channel people aren't really watching I'm getting about a hundred views uh, a video so what I'm gonna try to do is focus on the story so every video moving forward I'm gonna try to have a good story I'm gonna try to make it longer format if you look at Seth James Demore videos his videos are all 10 plus minutes. I'm gonna try to make them at least eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes, but I'm gonna try to increase the length of the video just to see what happens on my YouTube analytics to see if that works. And I'm gonna focus on story. Story is gonna be the most important part of the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record more, try to be a little bit more cinematic with my stuff, and hopefully that'll help the channel. And I'm not gonna be posting as much as I have been just to see if this works in helping to grow my channel. So anyways, I appreciate all you guys sticking around for this video and watching it. I appreciate all you guys watching my videos. And you know what, hopefully this new change, you guys will stick around for those videos too. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Peace out.